welcome back to my channel. This is Wendy Law. Please don't forget to subscribe right now and hit that little bell button so that you won't miss a single episode right here. And if you haven't already, don't forget to check out my new visual album, Passion. It has 12 parts and there's a video to each set to awesome, passionate and Latin music. You don't want to miss it. And if you want to purchase the album, all links are down below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, a lot of you have DM me on Instagram asking for some more cello techniques, some advanced and some more beginner. I thought I would do like six really good bow exercises that are good for beginners and also advanced students. This will help you to have good control of the bow and also create good sound with the bow. So this is good for everybody. So let's go ahead and get started. So this first exercise is, I'll just call it climbing monkey. And I learned this a long time ago when I was still in school. And you can practice it just with your bow. And you just basically climb up and down like this. Now, easy to climb up because gravity is working for you but climbing down requires a little bit of effort especially for your pinky now a lot of times i notice that students especially beginners don't use their pinky and you don't realize we really need all five fingers to be distributed equally in order to make a good sound so this really helps strengthen your muscle right here and helps you to learn to use your pinky and also this finger right here the ring finger really um try to practice this so whenever you're like watching tv or whatever you're bored use your bow go like this you can even use a pencil although there's not as much length but you see this actually is effortful and um uh, it requires some strength so that's the first exercise this second one is what I call finger push-ups and these are really good because it helps strengthen your muscles obviously with your fingers but also it really teaches you how to use your fingers when you play the cello a lot of times and I know I talked a little bit about string crossings and there are different ways to do string crossings these depending on the situation right so a lot of times when you're able to use your fingers like this, you can do really quick and rapid string crossing. You can use this to practice something like this, where you can strengthen your fingers. Because you wouldn't normally just use your fingers. A lot of times with string crossings, you really use a combination of your wrist, your fingers, your bow arm, everything. It's just very natural. Sometimes you do use your fingers for a quick string crossing like this. So it's good to strengthen this. Number three, this is one of my favorite and I was just teaching my student the other day. This is what I talked about earlier where you want your fingers to each have a job. A lot of times we end up using too much of these fingers, maybe using your middle fingers, but most likely, like I was saying, a lot of people just fail to use their pinky. So this is a great exercise and it teaches each your finger to carry some weight. So the first thing you should do is to just stick out your middle two fingers and use your pinky and your first finger to hold the bow. Doesn't matter what you play, maybe some scales. <laughs> fingers and we skip this first finger and the pinky and it forces these two fingers to really hold the bow and play and also you can use only the first two fingers right here skipping out in this ring finger and the pinky like so now this one is probably the hardest but you're skipping these first two fingers and only in the ring and the pinky holding the bow. This one is hard. Almost impossible. Now, after you've done that several times, try using all your fingers. You'll be like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. And this really helps you to basically produce a better sound. <laughs> Four. 
This is called playing on the bridge game. So use any piece of music you want and just play so close to bridge where it sounds nasty. Okay, so check it out. I know this doesn't sound good, but what it does, it teaches your bow to move. It teaches your bow to move and also you wouldn't get stuck on certain notes because what happens is a lot of times when you're trying to coordinate between the left and the right hand and you're thinking about the left hand, you think about all these things, vibrato, all this stuff, and then your bow kind of gets stuck. So this will allow for just movement in your bow. And after you've done that several times, you'll find that your bow distribution and the flow of your bow is a lot faster. Check it out. Try it out and let me know what you think. Now this is really kind of fun. The object of the game is to let the bow fall for as long as possible. Check it out. And let it bounce. I used to be able to do it for a really long time. I need to practice. Like that. And this kind of helps you learn how to bounce. <laughs> So, practice that. Now, number six, last but not least, and the best one involves toilet paper. Yeah, grab a toilet paper, preferably without actual toilet paper, but I can't pull it out, so whatever. I will just make it work. So, what you do is you put your toilet paper on the cello, flip the bow backwards, put it in, and play. Guess what that does? Think about it. What that does is, especially for beginners, is you can learn how to play with a straight bow. So what this basically does, it makes your bow not go crooked. It makes you go straight. So this is a great exercise for those people who want to basically put your bow straight and have a straight bow so that it's not all crooked everywhere, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you enjoyed it and if you have any questions at all. And again, please check out my visual album and if you want to support me, you can be my patron on patreon.com and or purchase my album um, and check it out um, subscribe all those things support my work and I really appreciate it and hitting that like button also really helps with the algorithm so I appreciate it and I'll see you next time <laughs>